Are you hungry now? That's a report on Action 2 News at 4.30. Thanks for joining us. Action 2 News 5 starts right now. Right now on Action 2 News at 5, just a couple of hours until the Green Bay Packers take on the Raiders in Las Vegas. We'll see how the teams and the fans are gearing up tonight. Plus, First Lady Jill Biden making her way to Northeast Wisconsin tonight. We'll see what she'll be doing for the next few days and what initiatives will benefit from the visit. And a live look right here on our Shano Sky Camera. This view probably matches what's outside your window. Lots of cloud cover. That will continue into tomorrow. But perhaps Wednesday we see a little bit of sunshine and warmer temperatures. We'll talk more about that in your first alert forecast. WBAY-TV, your first alert station. Action 2 News at 5 starts now. Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. Thousands of Packers fans in Las Vegas tonight see the team face off against the Raiders. The matchup starts just after 7 o'clock here on WBAY, and we're providing extended coverage beginning at 6 tonight for the game. And Action 2 News has live coverage right now from Allegiant Stadium. Our very own Dave Schrader there to give us the latest details on the game tonight. Dave. Welcome to Las Vegas, and let's talk about the Packers' young receivers. They've proven to have a penchant for making plays. The only question with the second-year stars has been health. The question, when and if Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson can stay healthy week after week to be on the field at the same time and build some chemistry opposite each other. The two have made a lot of plays in their careers, but already Watson's missed six career games while Dobbs has missed four. However, the highlight reel catches that they have produced elicit excitement. Now, this year, uh, Watson returned from an injury just last week, a hamstring injury. He returned against the Lions in that loss. Perhaps he'll be on less of a snap count this time around. And we will see what happens moving forward, when and if those two can play together, and when they can make plays. Uh, Watson is a touchdown machine. He's found the end zone now 10 times in just 15 career games. 